Hi guys, it's Asante. So I've gotten a few comments about getting into Harvard, advice for getting into Harvard, I'm in such and such a place, do you think that I could get in, what advice do you have? And I'm here to help you all out because I know it can get brutal up in these streets, up in these streets, these classrooms, these hallways. So I'm here to help you all out. So I decided to make a video about how to get into Harvard. <laughs> Who does she think she is? Some kind of Harvard guru? I know I'm not the end all and be all of college advice, so to preface this, this is just my own personal experience, my own personal perspective. I'm not from the admissions office or anything like that, I'm just a Harvard student, but it's speaking from my experiences with getting in, and hopefully you can learn something from them. So I'm gonna do this as a mini series of about four videos, so make sure to subscribe if you wanna get updates on when the next video comes out. So as I'm gonna break it down, if you wanna get into Harvard, there are things you can do, things you can be, there's the actual application process, and then there's just my experience that hopefully you can learn from. This video is gonna be talking about things you can do. So yeah, let's do this. Tip number one, be smart. Whoa, shocker, wasn't expecting to hear that. I know it's kind of obvious, but it's still worth mentioning that it's really important to have good grades and good test scores. If it's offered at your high school, make sure to take AP classes or IB classes, language classes, if there's a magnet program, all that jazz. And all that jazz! And being good at school is something you can develop, so if you just work hard in your classes, do your best on exams and essays, then you can do it. Tip number two, follow your passion. If you love painting, then paint a lot. Uh, get your stuff in art shows. If you love math and science, join the math team. Enter physics competitions, code websites. Just do what you love to do. If there's something that you really like to do, then see what you can do to either practice that thing a lot so you can do it really well, or if it's not a skill, see what you can do to take that hobby to another level. Take it to a whole nother level. And you can definitely have multiple passions, I know I do. Just get into things and go hard like a boss. And you don't have to know what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. So if you don't have that one thing that you're passionate about, then experiment, try different things, and see if you can find it. Tip number three, make an impact in your community. It's always good to be doing volunteer work and helping others. You could volunteer at the local homeless shelter or food kitchen, donation station, your local Girl Scout council. Shameless plug for Girl Scouting. If you are a school-aged female, do it. Colleges want to see that not only are you doing well yourself, but you're also trying to do better by other people. And you're gonna use what you're learning in school to make a positive change in the world. Also, I would say to take opportunities or make opportunities. If there are not a lot of clubs and extracurriculars at your school, then start a club, start an organization. If there's not a lot to do in your hometown, then think of something that you can do independently. Start making art or maybe creating YouTube videos. Opportunities just lead to other opportunities. So if someone sees you're doing your own thing, maybe they'll want you to help them out. If you start a club at your school, then maybe that club can grow and make an impact out in the community. So I would say just take advantage of what's around you. Of course, not everyone is presented with the same opportunities, but if you just work with what you have, people will recognize it. This is another reason why I love Girl Scouting because there's just so many opportunities that come along with that. Girl Scout camps, women's organizations, summer things, just, just, if you're a girl, do it. Well, I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, make sure to leave me a comment below. And that's it for now. If you liked this video, then like it. If you feel so moved, leave a comment. And, you know, maybe subscribe. I don't know. You should maybe, you should maybe do that. And you should be, yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.